Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a lovely day, week, morning, night. Um, whenever you are watching this video, I hope you are doing well and that you are safe. So today's pick a card is going to be what do you need to surrender? What do you need to let go of? So we have three options. Option number one right here, option number two, and option number three. All the timestamps will be pinned in the comment section as well as in the description box below. All my information is always there in the description box below. Remember that these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, what else do I want to say here? I think that's all. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. Okay, so let's get started. If you feel like you need more time, feel free to pause the video. And whenever you feel ready, click play and fast forward to your selected option. So I do want, actually, there is an announcement. I will not be doing emergency readings this Thursday uh, because I will not be doing readings on Friday. So if you purchase an emergency reading on Thursday, it will be delivered on the following Monday. So with that being said, let's go to option number one. So let's see, option number one, what do you need to surrender? Let's see. I'm getting a person here. I don't know why, but <laughs> I'm picking up like a person. Okay, a heavy Scorpio, Scorpio traits. Okay, I feel like this person is very uh, secretive. I'm picking up like the high priestess type of energy here. Yeah, I feel like for somebody this is a person or this might be you, the Scorpio, okay? We have surrender to effortlessness. Surrender to success and surrender your addictions. Okay, so for some of you, what I am picking up here is what you need to surrender is the fact that you're pushing so hard. Okay, there has to be a equal give and take here. There has to be a good flow between doing and also allowing things to happen for you, allowing things to manifest, right? Do not push so hard is what I'm getting here for pile number one. Literally, the card says that pushing so hard, the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. So what I'm getting here is if you want to be successful in something, Whatever this is for you, pile number one, okay? The message here is if you wanted to be successful, if you wanted to move forward with someone or with or in a situation or a job or career, they're saying do not push so hard. Allow things to unfold naturally. That is how you're going to get the best result for your situation, okay? For some of you, you do need to surrender an addiction. And again, addiction can mean substances does not always have to mean that it can definitely be food people like i said for some of you this is a person um, it could mean sex or just overworking which i do feel like for many of you there is here a intense energy about overworking or trying to like push something uh, to happen and so I'm getting here the message for you is to kind of let go a little bit okay allow things to just unfold organically for you and for others of you, if you are working in releasing like a substance or an addiction of some kind, just know that you will be successful at releasing this and letting this go. For some of you, I do see you kind of uh, interchanging things for healthier alternatives. Yeah, you also need to surrender a craving. There's something that you're craving and I knew that card was going to come out. <laughs> There's something that you're craving, whether this is a habit, a person, there's something here, an addiction of some kind, okay? Again, addiction, I'm using it as a broad term here, but it's something that you are craving, that you're obsessed with, and that you know that is not good for you, okay? So the message here for you guys is to surrender pushing so hard, right? If you want things to be successful, allow them to naturally take its course for others of you you're definitely dealing with something that you know it's not good for you you know this this is very clear okay and i feel like it's clouding your vision like this crave and it's what substance does right or having an addiction of any kind is what it does it clouds your vision and we try to rationalize and you know try to rationalize it in so many ways but i do see here that there's a need for you to release this so let's continue 
Yes, you have reassurance. So there is this message here as well that there will be a positive resolution to whatever it is that you're trying to let go, to whatever it is that you're trying to release, right? Just surrender. There's a need, yes, definitely for you guys to surrender in order for you to be successful in something. Do not push it. This is the message that I keep getting, okay? Do not push it. Yes, stop overthinking. For some of you, that is the obsession. That is the toxic habit here. And that is the addiction of overthinking things, coming up with unlikely scenarios about something, okay? And for a lot of you, the reason why you're overworking or why you're putting so much effort into something is because you're trying to control it, right? You want to know what the outcome will be and you want the outcome to be successful. But Spirit is saying, just let go, surrender. Everything's going to be okay, Yes, for a lot of you, you need to cleanse your energy. This is a, the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Piley, I believe. Let me show you the, the cover. But there's a need for you to cleanse. There's a need for you to wrap a cycle in order for a new cycle to start. So this is the deck here. Okay. Because I know I'm, people are going to ask me drink tea so for some of you i do see you changing coffee for tea okay or just implementing healthier alternatives to whatever it is that you're trying to cut off if that's what i'm picking up here and then we have that uranus energy that rebel energy i feel like for a lot of you you're becoming aware of what you're craving and that thing that what you are craving i mean it's not healthy for you and i feel like this is becoming very very aware and it's a number nine so it's time for you to wrap that cycle up to wrap it up or to find a healthier alternative to it take your time what what have we just been saying there's no need for you to push something you have time Okay, the journey is as important, if not more than the destination. Exactly. Do not worry, things will move to the next stage. Just take, you know, just take your time. Take your time. I know Uranus is very spontaneous, right? There's a lot of, um, this is a very much the rebel, the outlaw type of energy for me. So I do feel like for many of you, you want things in the moment. You want them to happen now. You want this reassurance. You want to control things. But with the Uranus energy here is telling me that Uranus energy is hard to control, right? It's something unexpected. So I do feel here that Spirit is telling you, again, you don't try to control this. It will not serve you right. Just take your time, release control to get the best outcome. <clears throat> Enlightenment, exactly. For some of you, it's like, you're like, when am I going to emerge? You know, you might be in the caterpillar stage. You might be in the, um, in the cocoon. And for others of you, you're about to burst uh, with your wings, but there is no need for you to rush the process. Okay, you will rise up. Just know that. <clears throat> yeah, what you're wishing for, what you're desiring, it's going to come. You're going to get it. But again, for the best outcome, do not control. Do not try to control this. Tame the strength card, that Leo energy, right? Having a hold of, of our lower passions, right? Things like anger, sex, desire, things like this. Have them under control. Show some self-restraint is what I'm getting here for pile number one. And strength card to me is about patience as well. So for some of you, you are a Leo, you're dealing with the Leo. For some of you, you want to know when will you be financially successful? You're getting there. You're on your journey there. Just know that you're on your journey to your wishes coming true. You don't need to push so hard because it's already written for you to have whatever this is that you're trying to make happen. It's already there and you're on your way to the next stage. You just got to trust. So that is what I have for pile number one. If it resonated, subscribe, hit that like button. And now I'm going to move to pile number two. So pile number two. Let's see. What is it that you need to surrender? 
Okay, so pile number one got to not try to force things to happen, to not take so much action in something, to allow things to happen. Pile number two, you're on the other side of the spectrum. Pile number two, it's spirit is like, it's now time to jump. You gotta jump, you you know, you gotta, you gotta make the first move here. You gotta take action towards something, okay? Spirit is like, you wanna move up the ladder, you wanna, you know, I'm hearing the next level, the next level. So for some of you, you want to get to the next level of your career, of your love life, whatever this is for you. Spirit is saying now is the time to jump to take action, okay? Stop procrastinating. Stop overthinking it. Stop delaying it. Yes, for a lot of you, the reason why you haven't taken action is because you're in this energy of negative thinking, right? You have this pattern of overthinking things, and so I feel like you need to have a better grip on your thoughts. Do not think negatively. There's a need for you to change the way you think, your thinking process. I'm hearing CBT, so cognitive behavioral therapy. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just give it to you guys, but that's what I'm picking up on. Surrender to complete healing. Yeah, I feel like here, pile number two, there's this need for you to just go, to just do something, okay? Because I do feel like your fears here <clears throat> are holding you back. They're keeping you from achieving that which you want. Because Spirit here is telling you that the time is right for you to do something. It's just your thoughts. It's kind of this energy of eight of swords type of thing where um, you're... You're allowing those thoughts to keep you stuck and spirit is saying, no, we don't need to be doing that anymore. Yeah, it's time for a lot of you. You want to make these life changes, okay? Or many of the life changes that are going on are making you kind of digress and stay in this negative thinking pattern. And I feel here that if you want the, the changes that you want in your life, you have to take action. Like you can't just sit there and, you know, and say that you want change, but then not making the change, procrastinating in making the change. You have to take action towards something, okay? Towards a new chapter in your life. Embrace this new chapter as well. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you need to free yourself. You need to release what no longer serves you. And part of that is that negative thinking. La Luna, hidden emotions released to truth release journey to truth and healing so for a lot of you you're trying to rush a process is what i'm getting here maybe that's why i got cbt cognitive behavioral therapy because i feel like for some of you maybe you are trying to heal or are in the process of healing something okay something you have been probably buried um, you have had buried within you and i feel like it's coming up to the surface for you to address this but for a lot of you, again, with La Luna here, I always like to think of La Luna as that energy of like the tarot, right? That is a very mysterious, that it, you know, it brings up fears, fears of our subconscious. And so I feel like you need to go on a path that you know you need to do. Like I feel like with the life changes card here, it's like you know you need to make this life change, but you're really scared. There's something here that scares you about making this change, but you know this is a journey to your truth, and you know that this journey will bring in a lot of healing for you, but you know there's a lot of releasing that will be done during this process, and I feel like this is something that scares you, so you get stuck in this cycle of fear and of negative thinking when you know it's time for you to move to complete the healing and start a new chapter in your life connect with the earth number 13 this is the death card in tarot like this deck is the self-care oracle it's this one right here and a lot of people are going to ask me um so this is a card about connecting with self right and also connecting with mother earth this gives me kind of magician type of vibes right because there's all these crystals in front of her and like a wand here so i feel like spirit is reminding you that you are the manifester of your life and your life if you don't like the way your life looks <clears throat> or how your life is at this time you always have the power to change it do not forget that if something is not serving you anymore if you want change you can definitely create change 
but I do feel here that there's something that you need to release to find that physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. That Aries. Yes, I love this for pile number two. Another 13. You guys want to look that up? Okay, that spiritual number. But I feel here that Aries energy. I love it because Aries is the eternal child, right? And it's the leader of the zodiac. So I and it's the warrior because it's ruled by Mars. And so I feel like you guys need to just charge forward, like I said at the beginning. You guys need to move forward with something. Because I feel like you guys are waiting for something to happen or for spirit to bring in like the tower moment for you to make this decision for you. And I'm kind of getting here from spirit that you need to initiate this change. You need to make this change according to your truth, whatever that truth is for you. But it's time to take action and to not let your fears hold you back. It's time to be a leader. It's time to assert yourself. Don't be stubborn. Okay, don't be stubborn. For a lot of you, you're waiting for something to happen. But see how she holds that ribbon, that red ribbon? This tells me as well that this is a destined situation. Okay, this was something that maybe you have a yod in your natal chart and this has activated something in your natal chart where i feel like you're at crossroads and it's like what do i do you know what are you gonna pick it's kind of one of those pick your pick your journey type of things type of stories here that's what it feels like to me yeah it's time for you to be fearless and this goes very well with that aries energy it's time for you to be fearless. Do not resist the changes. Do not resist the action that you need to take. She who brings light. So light, serenity, and beacon. <clears throat> so I do feel like something is being highlighted for you. Something is being shown to you. There's something that has been hidden beneath you in your subconscious. And I feel like it's being brought up in order for you to address it. And like I said, to heal it. In order for you to take action and be assertive and be fearless. Because Spirit is saying you're waiting for these changes to come. You're waiting for things to just change on their own. When Spirit is saying the wand is right there. You have the ability to change your circumstances at any time. And the Ace of Swords, yeah. You will be victorious. And again, this truth you're cutting through the illusion, right? That's what the sword means. That's why it's cutting through the, the clouds here. Spirit is giving you information for you to make a decision. But I feel like there's something that you need to release with that Ace of Swords and the release card here. In order for you to have the changes that you want. And I feel like you need to take this sword. And you need to make the decision to move forward. No more waiting around. Stop procrastinating. So that is what I have for pile number two. If it resonated, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Pile number three. Okay, let's see. What do you guys need to surrender? Ooh, surrender your ego. Okay. <laughs> pile number three. What's going on? So the card says, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Okay, so a little bit of stubbornness I'm picking up with pile number three. For a lot of you, I do feel like maybe you have to communicate something with someone, meet someone halfway. And I feel like this is something you probably don't want to do. But there's this need to keep your... Uh, there's this need. Wow. Okay. There's this message here where you need to kind of keep your ego on check. Do not, you know, pride is also coming through. So be careful of that. Surrender to setting limits. It's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs. What did I say? Some of you need to communicate something with someone. And some of you are scared to communicate this. Or someone is going to express some type of limit with you or some type of boundary with you. I feel like there's a need here for you not to take it as a blow to your ego, but to kind of come from a place of compassion and understanding and being like, okay, I respect your limit. I respect your boundary. For some of you, you're getting a no and that is really triggering your ego. It's kind of this, how can I, how can I get a no? Maybe you're someone who's not used to getting a no from people. 
or in in life in general and i feel like this is something to humble you a little bit okay so don't take it as the universe picking on you or they're being mean or don't take it personal is what i'm getting here okay for a lot of you you also need to set healthy boundaries with yourself i feel for a lot of you maybe you bite your tongue a lot Okay, maybe you don't express your needs as much with others. And I feel here there's a need for you to, to express your need. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for a lot of you, maybe you get feisty because I'm hearing the little, the little dog in the background um, barking. So for some of you, maybe you get a little feisty here when somebody tells you no okay or when things don't go your way i feel like you get into this place of ego and spirit is wanting you to know that sometimes getting a no it's okay it's god's blessing it's god's way of protecting you from something that was not meant for you it wasn't healthy for you is what i'm getting here for pile number three i'm also getting here as well for some of you there's a need to stop something here okay Maybe stop a relationship on their tracks, I'm hearing. I don't know why, but that's what I'm picking up. Okay, because her hand. Yeah, there's this like, um, for some of you, I feel like maybe as well, your ego is not allowing you to get close to certain people. And so you have this barrier with people. And I feel like there's this need to bring this barrier down, especially if it has become unhealthy. Okay. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So like I said, if you got to know, okay, from someone or from something, again, don't take that personal. Don't take it as like a blow to your ego. It's just to humble you. It's part of your soul's growth. It's part of your soul's journey, okay? And you were meant to experience this to teach you something so look at it that way okay for a lot of you i feel like you want to mend a bridge with someone but i feel like someone might be in their ego or you might be in their ego and you might be telling them like no i do not want to mend that bridge right now okay for a lot of you um for a lot of you i feel like you're at a distance with someone because of ego here So again, just check if it's you or your person or that other person. It doesn't even have to be love related. Observe, not absorb. Energy vampires. Yeah, for a lot of you, there's a need for you to set limits with someone who is draining your energy. Okay, or with someone who is keeping you stagnant. Someone that is not good for you. Someone that is keeping you in the cycle here be very careful of that and i feel like this is part of your lesson at this time is to learn to say no learn to tell not to tell that person you're toxic right you don't you don't need to do that if you don't you know if you don't want to you don't need to do that but you can be honest with yourself and be like you know what that person is not good for me that person is um keeping me in a loop and so i need to say no and that's all you need to say no is a complete sentence because you have to remember that this is your path, this is your life, and you have the power to say no to whatever is limiting you, to whatever is draining you. You have the right to set boundaries where they need to be set. And for some of you, you might stay in a situation that you know is not good for you, but it strokes your ego in some way, okay? Or you don't walk away because of your ego. But right now, Spirit is saying, put your ego aside. If it's not healthy for you, don't stay there. Yeah, there's a need to detox here. And it could be from a, a person or a situation here, okay? Just a need to detox, a need, a need for healing, a need to disconnect. Health checkup. So here, again, I don't like to tell people what to do with their health, but if you've been thinking about seeing your doctor, seeing a healthcare professional, um, definitely, you know, this is for you. Take it as you will. I'm also getting here with the healthcare checkup. For a lot of you, I feel like you need to check how this situation that is draining you, how is also draining your energy and your vitality, right? 
How is it? How healthy is this? Is this really healthy or not? And being honest with yourself and setting those limits. That's very important for Paolo number three. And then again, communication. For some of you, maybe you have a hard time saying no to people. Okay. And I feel like this might be something that you were conditioned to when you were young. Okay. Or maybe you saw a mother. Maybe because you like to be of service. I feel like you're a nurturer and you want to help people and you always want to you know, do your best with people. Probably your path is in helping others. And so it's hard for you to say no. It's hard for you to set limits with others. But if you're feeling drained and you're feeling like your cup is empty, you have to learn to say no and you have to detach and you have to learn to communicate that as well. Yeah, for a lot of you, you have to see where are you, you know, how can I put this? What are you being loyal to? Who are you being loyal to? Is it something good or is it something bad? You have to analyze. Is that the word that I want to use? You have to look at your priorities. Where is your loyalty? Like I said, and where is your responsibility to and who is your responsibility to? Are you feeling responsible for maybe other people that you don't need to be responsible for? Okay, or are you allowing people to put more responsibility on you than needs, you know, than you need to carry? There's a need for you to become aware of that and communicate that if you need help or if you need to say, hey, that's not for me to carry or no, that, you know, that's not good for me. And I feel like not only communicating with others, but also with yourself and being honest with yourself and being like, that doesn't serve me. Yeah, and I feel like this is going to bring a, a big transformation in your life. And again, she's holding on to her throat. So something with the throat chakra here. Learning to say no is crucial for pile number three. Yes, to become aware exactly to become aware and accept what is not good for you and knowing that you have to let it go knowing that maybe you're you're staying there or in that situation because of ego and not because of anything else yeah and then we have the page of cups again there needs to be more emotional intelligence here Yeah, because I feel like with the page of cups and the fish here, I feel like and the tulip, you're very nurturing and you're very, um, you have this purity to you. And I feel like you have a lot of love to give and you want to offer your cup to a lot of people. Again, because you're very gentle. Uh, you're a very, a very loving soul. And I feel like maybe you might attract people that are not or don't have the best interest and they just want to drain your cup. Okay, whether they know this intentionally or not. And I feel like it's your responsibility to be loyal to yourself and to check there we go to check on on your priorities. Where are you? What are you prioritizing? And is it healthy for you or not? If it resonated, definitely hit that like button, subscribe. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.